So the way an irrigation, it's just a clock, um, a fancy computerized clock that turns on a 24 volt alternating, alternating current to deliver electricity through multi-core cable to a solenoid valve. The electricity goes through a common, which we uh, always would use black for, and then one of the other colors. So when you wire up a controller, there'll be, um, so if that's a four station controller, you'll have C, one, two, three, four. And then you'll have valve one, valve two, valve three, valve four. The common wire is gonna to go to every valve. And then the, I guess the valve wire becomes the wire that um, closes a circuit. So mo I'm assuming most of you understand basic electronics. That'll become a circuit. Um, that'll become a circuit. So the common always has electricity going down one and then one, two, three or four has electricity going down the other. I just did the common twice. So the valve, these valves, these are 24 volt alternating current valves. As long as there's electricity running through the path of these wires, so like common and one and that turns on, uh, the valve will stay open. So if the cable was to get cut on site by someone working or the power was to go off on site because the electricity went down or the safety switch dropped off, that valve will close. So um, it's not really a fail safe or anything, it's just the way they operate. Um, these valves specifically are, a norm, a, I guess, a fail closed solenoid valve, uh, which means that they have a reverse flow, which we'll go into a bit later, it's probably a bit more high level. Um, so they'll generally fail closed. The, this is a 0.5 mil squared cable that I'm holding in my hand. The cable that like, like you guys would probably be using on larger sites would be a one mil or a 1.5 mil. You can run half mil cable out to about 120 meters max, yep. and then you're going to start getting voltage drop, which is possibly going to affect the coil opening and closing. Uh, so the next size up from half mil is one mil, then it goes to 1.5 mil. Commercially, we use 1.5 mil for most jobs until we get to Dakota, which I'm not going to go through today, but um, Dakota is a two wire path, so you're only using two cables. Obviously, a commercial site, you might have 30 or 40 valves, then you'd need to run 31 or 41 cables, which starts to get really costly and troubleshooting becomes an issue. Uh, when we run one and a half mil cable for a commercial system, we'll usually use two mil or two and a half mil or, four, half or mil. four mil commons. Yep. Um, and then we're starting to get into a situation where we can get kilometers out of our runs rather than hundreds of meters. <clears throat> when you install cable and wire it to a solenoid valve, like with any electrical connection, it's really important that it's done right. Uh, if you do it right, it's going to work for you. If you don't do it right, you're going to have trouble with it later. The connections also need to be waterproof because obviously it's going into a box in the ground, which is likely to have water in it or at least moisture from time to time. So everyone gets that. So however many valves you choose to have, you need that number of valves plus one. Uh, if you have, I guess, uh, four solenoid valves, most of the time we're going to encourage people to put seven core cable in there because it enables them to have two spare cables because you never know what's gonna happen. Someone, if it's a client's job, then they're always gonna add something or um, even if it's your own house, if you wanna add, um, get more specific around your irrigation, then you've got the cable there to do it. If you don't, there's tools available to split a line. So this might be a, an issue that's come up for guys that are going and working on existing systems. You can get, what are they? The- Attestation. Attestation and there's a four, uh, add a four. Add a four, yeah, and splitters and yeah. So this, it, it's a small product <clears throat> that goes at that down this end. And it learns the controller's runtime and then halves it for a two station. Yep. So if you've got these four and there's four cables, but you want to add a fifth valve, you change runtime of number four to double what you want it to be. And then it splits it out between four and five. It's ideal not to use those if you can avoid it, but they're there, they're products. Um, that's Holman, they're Holman do a lot of troubleshooting products, don't they? <clears throat> they're quite good.